I want to shove that in my ass. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here. Hi, my name is Victoria and I'm a mess. I am so happy to see all of your wonderful faces and today we are doing the video that is the most requested on my channel and everyone's favorite and that is a good old story time. So we're gonna take it back, we're gonna take it back to some naughty story times, some dangerous story times. So if you are new here and not yet subscribed, feel free to do so. All of my social media is in the description of this video and be sure to turn on the notification bell. I've been getting a lot of comments and messages from people saying, hey, I'm subscribed to your channel, but I'm not getting notified when you put out a new video. So clicking that notification bell will guarantee you'll be the first to see it and you can be part of the notification squad. Let's just get right into these stories. Always gotta hydrate. All right, I'm gonna start off strong. I'm gonna start off with probably the worst out of all of these. I have been on two cruises in my life, both of which have been with my family. I wanna say I was maybe like 15 or 16. Let's just say I had hit puberty at this point. I had probably like just discovered what masturbating was and I was very into it. I was probably at like the peak of my sexual desire in my life. Cause now I'm just a grandma, like give me five minutes and I'm done. Back then I literally only wanted to eat, sleep and jerk my little ding dong. Now at this time I had not transitioned so I was still presenting as a male and I of course was using the men's bathrooms. <laughs> I haven't been in one of those in a long time. I don't want to go back. So I was in the locker room because on this cruise ship, they did have a gym. I was very, very into working out at this time. Also, my eating disorder was really strong and I was working out like over an hour every day to compensate for everything that I ate. So very unhealthy period of my life, just a little side note. But I had just worked out and I went to the locker room to take a shower. I thought it was like so hot to like take a shower in like the locker room with all the boys. Cause you know, in my head, I felt like I shouldn't be there. Like it was like weird or like shouldn't be allowed. But I mean, obviously to everyone else, I was just like a normal boy, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna try to like paint a picture for you. So it was like this hallway of showers, okay? And when you're looking down the hallway, there's one like straight ahead and then the other ones are on the side. Um, so it's like a row and then there's one at the end. I was on the one at the end So if you pass by the hallway, you could see me in the shower right there and the other ones were on the side There was a door to it and it was like kind of foggy so you could kind of see through it But like not all the way now there's a rod coming out of the wall. I say a rod, it was, it's a towel rack. It's like a little rod that you can like put your towel over while you take your shower. The cruise was pretty boring. There wasn't a lot of stuff you could do since you were under 18. So I of course looked at that rod and said, I wanna shove that in my ass. I decide that I'm gonna lube up my ass with soap and back up against the wall so the rod can go in me. And this is, this isn't a joke. Like I did it, like that was in my ass. A employee of the locker room slash spa area, I guess, walks past, stops, and does like a double take. Like, is this bitch really fucking a towel rack? I literally hopped off of it. Like I just, off of the shower rod and I was so petrified. So I would see him periodically around the cruise ship and every time I saw him, I would run the other way and hide because I thought he was gonna confront me. But literally the whole time I was trying to avoid this guy because I thought he was gonna kick me off of this boat. And I'm still like an exhibitionist to this day. Like I was literally sucking my boyfriend's dick outside of our apartment the other night. It's just so exhilarating. If you are an original Victoria Wigan subscriber, there is a extremely small chance that you may have heard this story time before because I uploaded a video about it and then about an hour later deleted it. This story takes place in the summer in Houston, Texas, where I used to live when I was younger. During the summertime, it was extremely, extremely hot and humid. So I remember one day I was coming home from school and I was on the bus and there was no air conditioning and I was so fucking hot. Let me paint the picture a little more for you. So I lived in a house, of course, my parents' house, and our backyard was huge. And behind the fence of our backyard, it was like a ton of trees and deers would come up to our backyard fence and we had like 
deer feed out there and stuff like that so they would come and eat the food but the issue was the deer would come through to the front yard sometimes like at night they would literally walk through the subdivision they would come in our front yards and my mom had a huge flower garden she was really into gardening at the time i remember being little and like always seeing her working in the flower beds so we had a shit ton of flowers outside in the front yard and the deer would come around at night, come to the front yard and eat the flowers. So my mom tried a bunch of stuff. Like she would take like cayenne pepper and like sprinkle it on the flowers to make the deer not eat it, but like nothing would work. There was a bunch of like weird shit that she tried and just nothing worked. This sounds irrelevant right now, but just remember everything I just told you because it's gonna be so important in a minute. Back to me coming home from school. So I'm on the bus, hot as fuck. I come inside and I am so fucking thirsty. I just got home from school. I'm fucking hungry, dehydrated, and I'm dying. So I see a huge jar of tea on the counter. I chugged it. And about halfway through this jar, I realized that something just was not right. This was not tea. This was urine. I, I drank my mom's urine. So I go in her room, I run, I'm like vomiting. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And she's like, oh my God, I read online that if you pee in a jar and then you pour it in your flower beds, it'll keep the deer away. And I've been saving it up all day. I've been peeing in it all day. And I was just about to go pour it in the flower beds, but you drank it. And she's just dying laughing. And I'm literally just like, first of all, why did why is it on the counter in the kitchen where you fucking cook? I think I'm gonna make this a three-parter. So I'm gonna do the last story right now. And then in the next video, I'm gonna do three more mini story times. So it's gonna be six total, but we'll stop at here for today. So as most of you probably know, I occasionally like to indulge in a little. We're just, we're all being honest here. But for me, it comes in waves. So I will go months without smoking. And then all of a sudden I'm like, you know, I really want to, and I'll do it like hardcore. So I'm just on and off. It really depends on like my mood. I'm at work and my friend and I got cut. So we got sent home. They didn't need us for the night. So since we both got cut, my friend was like, hey, I have some weed. Do you want to smoke? Now at this point, I probably hadn't smoked in like four months. Like I went really ham. So I was like taking a break. I wanted to like detox my body and just like refresh myself. I finally felt ready. So I was like, yeah, sure. Like we don't have to go to work tonight. I don't have shit to do. Like I'm down. He drove in her car picked a spot and parked right outside of this food place i'm not going to say the name of it just for privacy reasons because it is like a local place I probably took maybe three hits but you guys have to understand like i had been sober for so long so even if i would have taken one hit i would have been toasted but three hits had me on the fucking floor. Like, you know how sometimes if you've ever smoked weed before, you know, there's a point where you get too high and you're just kind of like, <sighs> like in your head, you're like, I'm fucking dying. That is the level that I got to. And to make it even better, I had not eaten all day. And I have a really weird thing with my blood sugar. So if I go a long period of time without eating, I get really dizzy, really lightheaded, and I feel fucking sick. I'm trying to take some deep breaths and relax, but all I can think about is how I'm fucking dying. So we're parked outside of this food place. I'm like, look girl, like I, my blood sugar is really low. I smoked, like this is a recipe for disaster. I need to get some food into my system. So we hop out the car and we go inside to the food place. We're standing in line. Keep in mind, my friend goes to order first. While she's ordering, I have to sit down at a table behind her because I can't fucking stand up. So she does her order. I come up behind her. I'm like fucking losing it. I've got cold sweat. I'm shaking. I'm seeing stars. I'm starting to get like blotchy vision. Like you guys don't understand. Like if I smoke and I have not eaten, it's like game over. Like it, there's no turning back. I'm fucked. So I make it through ordering and I'm going to pay. I put my debit card in the machine and it's a chip reader. So I just put it in and leave it there and it starts beeping. And as soon as the machine started beeping for me to take out my card, I just fucking lost it. Like I'm sitting, standing there and I'm just like zoning in and out. Like everything around me is starting to spin. It's like a, a, like a wompy, wompy noise. And I can't like see shit. And all I remember is them being like, you can take your card out now. So I take it out. 
I can't even put it in my wallet because I can't fucking see. And as I'm walking towards the door to leave this place, I just start spinning, spinning in circles. Like my vision went out, I couldn't hear, I couldn't see. I literally passed out. I literally fucking passed out. So I just remember feeling myself spinning in circles and circles. I guess that was me trying to like balance myself and like stand up without falling. But I literally busted my ass in the middle of this restaurant. I'm like falling onto chairs, like pushing tables. Tables are falling over. And I just land on the ground and remember busting out laughing because I felt like such a fucking idiot. My friend comes up to me and she's literally laughing the whole time. And I'm just standing there like, are you really fucking laughing at me right now? Like I literally thought I just died and you're not doing shit to help me. I literally felt so sick. As soon as I ate, I felt immediately better. That's why I know it was like my blood sugar, but it was an awful experience. It made me feel horrible. It fucking hurt. It made a huge scene in front of everyone and it was just stupid. So if you are going to smoke marijuana, be sure that you eat before or you might pass out and fall and die. Thanks. All right, guys, that is it for today's story time video. I hope you guys like these little like mini story times. If you do, give it a thumbs up so that I know I'll do a part two for my next video. So three more new story times coming up. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that and turn on your little bell. So ding, ding, ding. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.